Oh. So I'm pretty ticked off because I just recorded the entire Empire Collection video. I put the floorboards on, the shifter peg, the brake pedal. Just to find out, I take the card out of the camera, put it into the computer, and there's no audio file on the files. So what does that mean? Come to find out that Mr. Microphone that I just bought, which is actually a really good microphone. I believe it's pronounced Sennheiser, but they're really, really good microphones. It doesn't work because I popped on my Rode microphone, checked the files, and now they work. So new microphones coming in the mail. I'm going to go back out into the garage right now. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Gonna get dark here for a second as I come through the family room and into the garage. And just so you guys know, this happens quite a bit. In the 350 plus videos that I have on the channel, it's definitely happened at least 10 times where I have filmed entire videos and come to find out either there's no audio or the file has been corrupted and I could not use it. So it does happen and then you just basically have to do it over. We have been on ride videos, recording for three, four hours, come back home, files corrupted, entire ride video in the garbage. So anyway, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, would really appreciate it. Before we get started in this video, this is the 2021 Sport Glide giveaway bike. Not only are we giving away the Sport Glide, I added a second prize to it, so if you can, head on over to www.cycle-fanatics.com. Get yourself entered to win because the second prize is a stage two kit for either a Road King, Road Glide, or Street Glide. The stage two kit includes a brand new Chromeworks 2 into 2 Eclipse black chrome exhaust, the same exact one as I have on Silverback, SNS 475 cam, high flow air intake, recluse torque drive high performance clutch kit, and the drag specialties Predator 3C. And to top that off, $5,000 in cash for you guys to get all the work done, put the rest in your pocket, and have an amazing bike. So head on over to the website, get yourself entered. So I'm gonna try something new also, guys. Every first of the month, I'm going to be picking a winner and giving out some swag. And for me first, you will win a Cycle Fanatic sweatshirt. Actually, the last one we have until the new orders come in. A Cycle Fanatic's hat, keychain and stickers, and as well as a Chromeworks hat and stickers. So you'll get all that. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. Head on over to Instagram and follow me there. And you have to DM me. I need that. And from the DMs, I will be picking out a winner and announcing the winner on this. And we will be sending that out to you. We're going to be doing this every first of the month, giving something away. It doesn't cost anything. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram and DM me. You have to DM me because that's how I'm gonna be picking out the winners. All right guys, let's get into this video. And I'm so mad because I had the entire install video and it's garbage now because of no audio. So this is what happened. I basically, the other day I filmed this video, I finally received my Empire Collection floorboards. So as you guys could see here, I already have the Empire Collection mirrors and I put on the Empire Collection primary cover. So what we just installed is the Empire Collection shifter peg, as well as the Empire Collection floorboards. Check them out. They're about two, two and a half inches longer, I would say, than the Stocks uh, Road Glide Special floorboards. They're edge cut, all of this is edge cut. Empire Collection does come in, I believe, all black chrome or the edge cut. I have the edge cut. And the reason, oh, these are the stock floorboards right here. If anybody is interested in them, they are in good condition. Shifter peg, brake pedal, and both floorboards. If anybody's interested in that, they will also be on the website. So the edge cut, like I just showed you, mirrors, primary cover, and floorboards, they match the Arlen Ness 
big air intake right here, our big Arlen-S big sucker air intake. It really matches nice because that's edge cut as well. And this is our brake pedal, Empire Collection edge cut, and the other floorboard right here. But as you guys can see, there's only one thing I was kinda uh, upset about, but no big deal. It happens. They didn't put the inlay, the Harley Davidson inlay on the right floorboard. So they don't have any in stock. So what Mike did, parts guy at Bergen County Harley, they're great over there. Uh, what he did was he ordered a right floorboard. And when that one comes in, we'll just, I'll take this one off and swap it out. They just must have forgot to put the Harley Davidson um, logo in there, the inlay, no big deal. But anyway, that's how I'm gonna have to roll for now. But uh, the floorboards look really good on the bike. Let me know what you guys think. I love it. I love the Empire Collection on the bike. I think it just really finishes off the bike really nice. And we're pretty much just about done. The only thing left that I'm that I am going to do before we leave for Daytona, our boy Nadal has his Gerbing heated plug. He doesn't have it here, which is very smart because he's got the beautiful CVO. He doesn't want to ruin the paint. So he actually ran it here up into the heat deflector cover. So this is not here. You just basically plug right from your jacket into there. My boy Flying Ride 15. He purchased me that plug, and I think we're gonna be going to the Bikes and Breakfast this Sunday. It looks like it's been raining for two days straight. It looks like all of the roads have been cleared and washed of all of the salt, thank God. Almost all of the snow is gone. So if that's the case and they don't re-salt for any reason tonight, we will definitely be at the Bikes and Breakfast this Sunday which is February 7th, I believe, 6th, 7th. But anyway, it's this Sunday. We will definitely be there, and Silverback is definitely going to be there. So if anybody wants to come by, it's the Bikes and Breakfast at the Market on 9W in Palisades, New York. We're usually there about 8 a.m., hang out for about two hours. So come on by and say hi, and take a look at Silverback if you would like. Another quick thing I wanna go over that I changed up Again, I did the video, no audio. So the lights that I had before from Harley Davidson, I'm not sure who makes them, but Zero 3D, of course, they sent me out these beautiful turn signal lights here. But let me show you. So they are brighter than the other ones, like big time. They are so bright. I wanna go over one thing with you guys about these lights. Let me put the signal on here. So you see now the fang bezel lights come on as well as the trim lights there. Look at that, that looks amazing. And they are so bright. I wanted to go over these lights. They're two piece. You have the light, you have the socket, but then you have to use these covers, which I don't like because these covers do pop out. Sometimes they don't lay right in there because of the O-ring. Sometimes the O-ring gets squeezed out. With the Ciro lights, it is one piece, beautiful black bezel. That whole unit, this bezel right here, and this light is one piece and it just clicks on. Much, much better design. And they are definitely beautiful and super bright. So all the links to the Ciro Prox will be down below in the description, check them out. And something I wanted to go over really quick with you guys, because in almost every lighting video that I put out, you always have a couple comments saying that it's too much light or they don't like the look or whatever. But me personally, as I believe 95 to 98% of the viewers watching, they all love all the lighting that I put on the bike so far. But the main reason is safety and that's what you guys cannot forget. Safety is key. Like I got a family, we have four kids, business. I have to get back home after every single ride. And the thing is no matter how safe I am, I'm talking about myself, no matter how safe I am and how many years I've been riding for over 30 years and knock on wood, nothing has ever happened. But the problem these days, and you guys know, everybody's on their phone. And like me and Brad talked about, everybody is on their phone, everybody is texting. It's actually worse than a person that's driving under the influence because the people that are using their phones, their head and eyes aren't even 
through the windshield, it's actually down looking at their phone into the car. The more things you have on your bike, and I'm specifically talking about two things, lighting and exhaust. I can't express enough about these two items, how important it is to be seen and to be heard. And I don't care what anybody says out there that they don't wanna, they think it's gonna ruin the look of their bike to put some more lights on it or something, or the bike is too loud, that's a bunch of bullshit. The main thing is to get back home to your loved ones every day safe. And in order to do that, the stock lighting, it just, it just, it's not bright enough, period. It is not bright enough. How many times I have been behind someone's bike with stock lighting, and if they're a little bit ahead of me, I could barely see them. Forget about them even squeezing the brake. You know, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If you squeeze the brake with stock lighting, you cannot tell the difference between when he's off of the brake and on the brake, and that is so dangerous because you could run up right into the back of somebody. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. If I put on my lights and with a stock, just with the stock headlight, it's bright but not bright enough. If you're coming up, whether it's in the daytime, daytime is very important as well, but in the daytime with only a stock light, you really can't see a bike. It's a small object, it's not a car. You could. Today, you could barely even see a car in the daytime. But now, with all these lights, it just gives them more opportunity to be able to see you. The big thing is in the back. On a stock brake light, say you're driving and a car is behind you, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen is somebody hit you in the back. And just with the stock tail light, the two lenses, that does nothing. Nobody could see that. Even at nighttime, if you hit the brake, nobody could see you. So now, when you put even a turn signal on, you definitely know where this bike is going. There is no question about it. Take away this bag light, take away the filler panel light, and what do you have? You have, and I'm talking about a stock light, you have one lens here on the right telling people where you're going. Another note, you're on the side of a tractor trailer, whether it's on your bike or in your car. What do they have on a tractor trailer? And there's a big reason for this. They have, when he turns on that turn signal, you can see the whole left or the right side of the tractor trailer light up, it's flashing. And that's basically to tell you what the driver's intentions are. Hey, I turned the left signal on. If you're on the side of the tractor trailer, if you're on the side of a car, side of a bike, you cannot see the turn signals if you don't have anything on the side of the bike. Even in today's cars, they have the turn signals built into the mirrors at the end of the mirrors so people could see you or understand what your intentions are and what you're thinking about doing. So if you see that turn signal and you look over and the guy's not even looking at you, I'd get away from him because he's probably gonna be coming into your lane. Just like these lights with the Ciro 3D hinge lights and machete lights. People understand now, at least they see or understand my intentions are going to be that I want to go into the right lane. So it's just super important. It looks classy, it looks beautiful. It's all lit up. And that's one thing guys that I never want to do to my bike is make it look cheesy, gaudy, anything like that. Yes, there are occasions where some bikes I've seen online, they just put like every single light known to mankind, including Christmas tree lights, of course that's not going to look beautiful. But what we did here with the Ciro 3D products, not only look good, but they serve a purpose and a function. And another thing I'm gonna tell you guys, it's so important, is to have a loud exhaust. Again, I don't care what anybody says. They need to hear you coming. On a stock bike, you're pulling up to a car, I don't even care if you're in a Honda Civic, they are not going to hear you. With an aftermarket exhaust, you don't have to go stage two or anything. I would at least recommend to do some sort of slip on so they could hear you better. Another problem is now, guys, everything's hands-free. They got their earphones, earbuds in their ears. They got the music cranked up. How do you expect them to know? If they don't look in the rear view mirror, they do not even know that you're there, especially a thin motorcycle coming down the highway. They will not know. That's why really push this lighting and loud exhaust. It's just absolutely much safer. I got a couple awesome videos for you guys coming up. You see our points cover right there. It says 128. I can't wait to show you guys this, but I found a company. They made me a custom points cover. I can't wait for you guys to see it. 
We're gonna be doing a lot of videos about all the components on Silverback. We're going to Arizona on February 17th here in about a week and a half to ride the new Road Glide Street Glide ST models. And then we're gonna be heading down to Daytona on the auto train. I cannot wait for that. So uh, we're also gonna be doing a lot of meet and greets down there. I'll give you guys all the time probably in a future video. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.